I've already done. I've already done one this morning. I've already done a ten minute this morning. Yeah. Hey, I got. I need more than that. Oh, we will set it. We will. I sure hope so. Yep. Just as an aside to those who are in the audience, this is marvellous because this morning I did a 10 minute session and the New Zealanders followed. This time the New Zealanders leave and I start a session. So um, very, very important part of the um, <laughs> Oceana grouping, the relationship between the two, between, um, I'm getting free time on this, yeah? Um, the relationship between the Australian and New Zealand projects is extraordinarily important. But um, I'm sure they've got better things to do. Um, I can use the clicker. Oh, excellent. It, its problem is it's not in chronological order. Um, but I, are you still resetting or something? You mean the timer? Yeah. Uh, this, is the, this, this is the time that you have. But I, I haven't started yet officially, yeah? Uh, you can start now, actually. I'm assuming the tech issues are resolved on, on the timer. It's resolved, is it? Okay. All right. This afternoon, I'm doing a, um, a talk on the role of meetups in the evolution of wiki clubs, chapters, and localised groups, using an example of a group from Perth in Western Australia. The, um, the, the the problem with understanding aspects of Wikipedia which are not necessarily uh, seen as a subject is something like the role of the meetup. There is a specific page on English Wikipedia about meetups and it's quite large. And there is a category in, uh, called Wikimedia meetups in Australia. And they've gone for quite a considerable time. And what happened what, uh, in the early days in Australia is between 2005 and 2006, seven and eight, before the evolution of Wikimedia Australia, there were various meetups in various states to try to get organized. One of the really important thing about meetups in general is that the visit of a significant or notable person from elsewhere usually is something to bring people out to actually have a look at what's happening. So I showed this picture to um, Jimmy Wales last night, and I think he could hardly recognize himself from how far back behind. So we have um, Jimmy here, and there's a person in the audience here who's also uh, in this photo. So we go back a bit. The actual 
actual thing to do with Western Australia. It's almost as though there's a need for literacy about regions or areas with, that relate to um, projects. It's quite often that um, Australians are challenged about their Asia literacy. There are many um, There are many Australians who um, have a very poor Asia literacy. They wouldn't be able to tell you the countries in Southeast Asia or East Asia, for instance. In Australia, there can be even a, a relative low liter level literacy of about, and I'm sorry, I'm not bringing up a, a map to show you on this one, uh, where Western Australia is or its context within Australia. However, what happened when Jimmy Wales came in April 2000, 2007 is we had that number of people turn up. Of the people who are stand there, maybe two or three, all these years later, are still involved with the organisation. Also, another problem for anybody looking on the internet or inside Wikipedia itself is that there are a number of terms used for the different groups. So currently we're calling uh, the West Australian branch of the Wikimedia Australia chapter, we're calling it Wiki Club West. But it has been found as at some stages Wikimedia Australia, some people slip into Wiki, uh, Wikipedia Australia and a whole variation of those sorts of things. Some of the most important things in events which have uh, affected the way that the local editors and people interested have been things like this meeting in February two oh, sorry in April 2007 and we had our own little meetup Could we go to the or oh, I can click okay sorry well oh. we'll eventually get there ah so in February 2007, that was the first West Australian meetup. So what happens is that, that the focus is uh, in Perth uh, at the State Library of Western Australia. Uh, again, there are a couple of us there who are involved and others who have just moved on. Beyond just regular meetups, there have been other sub-projects to the West Australian project which the detail um, is not here, but if there's a written version of this presentation, which is more thorough in time, it will explain the importance of, oh, wrong direction. Can I go back? Uh, ah, right. We go back to, um, 2012, is it Gideon? Okay, so what happened is one of the important people in the Australian project at that time was Craig Franklin, the person on the right. He has since passed away and Wikimedia Australia even has a prize in his name, in his memory. So the, the, the launching of Freeopedia, the launching of 2Jpedia and also Noongapedia all of these have elicited a strong interest in the group. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, editor retention or editor um, content increase. It just it, it raises the awareness. It is extraordinarily difficult at times to put a, a metric because in actual fact they're not necessarily articles. In most cases, there are more photos that, that, that happen. Also in Perth, We've had visit from, for anybody who's familiar with um, foundation staff, the third person from the right is Leela, who works for the foundation. Uh, the man holding the um, sign there is in the audience. Uh, Prue's been wandering around. And the man second from the left has just completely stuffed up my categorization on English Wikipedia for meetups. But that is, it's always very important that a branch or a group has a person who's a stickler for the rules. And he's completely stuffed it up for me, literally in the last hour. Whereas I said Craig Franklin had passed away, the um, fourth person from the left, 
uh, Lisa Summers, who is an ar archivist in Western Australia. She, unfortunately, has since passed away. I, because he left the room, I, I said I'll, I'll talk about him. Andy Mabbott came in to Western Australia in 2016 and 2018. He's not in this photo. And he, his visit and the travels and the interest and the, the, um, the public interest increased the knowledge of Wikimedia Australia and Wikipedia. And as a consequence, it didn't necessarily, again, it didn't necessarily mean increase in edits or articles, but it raised awareness. And so one of the really, really important things ab about um, local groups anywhere in Australia, it doesn't matter how, how regular they meet or what they do, in most cases, they will in increase people's knowledge or understanding. When, it revert, when we revert to regular meetings, we usually get about a, a table like this, or I just mentioned um, Lisa Summers, so we saw earlier on. We do, we do have the opportunity where people see an advantage as a conference at the same time, and as a consequence, there'll be people who we haven't seen before, and in some cases we may never see again. One of the really important things to do with the internal structure of content in West Australian articles is things that actually go well beyond our, our physical domain of Western Australia. What happens is that we've got a, an editor who uh, created an assessment tool for assessment on talk pages. So for, that is now standard through the whole of English Wikipedia. And it is really important for people who um, like to have tidy assessment. Also, another aspect of the project, and unfortunately, I don't think uh, that was our um, that was the birthday of uh, Wikidata birthday, and we've got the, the Q uh, codes on the chocolate cake. Meetups are always very important. They're social. Most of the meetings we've had in the last 15 years have been social rather than task assigned. And some people sometimes think that is an important component of how the project exists. Another aspect of um, the internal technical issues, similar to the assessment, uh, the rater assessment, has also been the incorporation of open street map information relevant to Western Australia in the English Wikipedia, in Commons and in Wikidata, because the, the earlier stages of the project, we would have uh, maps that were rendered in such a way that you almost wondered whether the map was of Australia or Southeast Asia rather than the locality. We're very, very fortunate to have members of the um, community who make considerable time to improve um, OSM uh, in, in, um, in info boxes. Um, so the actual, the actual advertising and, and abstract was talking about to have an overview from the issues arising from the long-term experience of an editing community and the challenges that are involved. Well, I've just mentioned one. Somebody has just rearranged articles for me back in Perth, literally at this moment, uh, some of the challenges. Some of the challenges are um, finding ways of interesting people to come along to meetings. Sometimes we've done things like um, go for a boat trip around Fremantle Harbour for a different way of looking at uh, the harbour itself. We've had a whole range of Wikitakes events that I cannot possibly annotate or, or give you an idea from here. Um, and there have been some, some processes where groups will attempt to communicate with other, uh, some of us as individuals or we uh, uh, communicate with outside organisations. Some of these interactions work and sometimes we're just sit, left sitting waiting. So regular meetups since 2007, we consider that we probably have had the longest regular set of social meetups 
of any Australian community meeting as recorded on English, English Wikipedia. Um, and being the largest subnational state in, in the world, possibly, as I make the assertion, we are very, very fortunate that we have dedicated long-term and, and really careful editors who, who make the larger project just that closer to um, being ready for people to take up the uh, take up the keyboard after us. We've set out a particular project in such a way that if we had people to follow on from us, they've got a very, very solid foundation to work on. As I get closer to the um, end of what I figured is just a very, it's beginning to feel like the 10 minutes I had this morning. Um, there's, there's only so much that I can uh, offer. So um, we go back to February 2007. Oh, oh. We've gone a long way. So similar to my 10 minutes this morning, where I said things when I went to the 2013 Wikimania, and I've come to this Wikimania, and thank, thankfully people have allowed me to speak this time around. Um, the changes are such that the potential for people to carry on in this particular uh, geographic or political region of Western Australia is such that I feel as though those of us who are still around and those, is, those of us who have been and gone, I'm extraordinarily grateful to all of them, even the ones who have been blocked universally or blocked locally or whatever. It doesn't matter if they've had bad behaviour. In a lot of cases, almost all the contributors to the West Australian Project are people who I am very, very grateful for, that they've had the time and the energy, even if they did go wrong at some point, the point was that they've been around, they've contributed, it's been extraordinarily positive. Um, I've hardly covered any of the larger, as I was writing in my preparation, the listing is by no means complete what I've been talking about. And it doesn't provide a comprehensive narrative of how Wiki Club West fits into the larger Wikimedia Australia events, or for that matter, even worldwide events. But we have turned up at um, Wikidata birthdays, we have contributed to various projects. Um, I do have some pamphlets with the detail about Wiki Club West. I would personally like to thank at least, without naming them, at least four of the audience today for their support and their help in the, in the, in the process of seeing us go from that original meeting right through to now. And um, I have every confidence that we don't need another visit like we got from, um, oh, going the wrong way again. I don't think, oh, and another person I forgot to mention, apart from Andy Mabbitt's uh, Wikidata tours, when Leela came and had her meeting, we had an opportunity to rethink things. So that was Leela there. And, and we've lost Lisa, unfortunately. And we've had people from over east who have come to see what we've been up to. And we've, had to, we've regretted we've lost members of the Wikimedia Australia community. And we go back to when Jimmy came in April 2007. I, um, th these opinions that I've offered are in no way reflect the actual group or the parent body of Wikimedia Australia. It's just a personal anecdotal attempt at trying to think of some of the issues, well, even less the issues, just more a very, very brief idea that there is a group that started in 2007 and it's still going. And despite everything that might have happened, we, we still, there's a, still a lot of positivity and there's still a lot of really amazing things happening. The whole thing of the, the dynamics of um, How would you put it? The, the, the dynamics of, of the, the different groups and individuals who are in the different places of Australia is something which is a totally separate subject and I, I haven't been able to get into now. I would, as a, I would, again, I'd really like to thank the people who are present who have been involved with the um, evolution of this particular uh, section of this Wikimedia Australia movement in general. Um, I should repay respects to the Wadjuk Noongar people whose land this meeting was held on because their importance is 
is in very um, great for how, how we understand the landscape and the people who preceded us. <clears throat> and as I said this morning, I was here just as setting up and the New Zealanders all came in. And then when I came in here, the New Zealanders all left. I hope they realise how important they are as well, even if they're not here. Um, the, the, the New Zealand Australian cooperation, I think, is extraordinarily important. I'd also like to thank um, Wikimedia Australia for supporting me uh, and also my, the, the, the local group that I belong to to um, put up with me as, as being a nuisance in relation to things. And I think I'll be getting on to um, Commons and English Wikipedia to try to sort out a few issues. It's always good to have somebody on the home front who's actually uh, causing a few more problems. But grateful for them all. Thank you very much. And thank you for the um, tech people. I'm sorry I bothered you about the time issues. That is, uh, I don't know if there's any need for any questions at this point, but it looks like I've got two minutes to go. Oh, well, thank you. I do have... Um, our, part of our publicity, if anybody wanted to see what we've been up to or how to contact us. Thank you, and thank you very much. <clears throat>